I'm Marie Feebach of FeedYourFamilyTonight.com and today we are making curried pumpkin soup. This soup could not be easier and it comes together so quickly, but it's also really, really yummy. It starts with just a can of pumpkin. You wanna make sure that you get canned pumpkin and not pumpkin pie mix. Pumpkin pie mix actually has sugar and spices in it. You want just plain pureed pumpkin. You're gonna put the whole can of pumpkin in the saucepan. To that, we are going to add two cups of chicken broth. I prefer using reduced sodium chicken broth. If you are using homemade chicken broth or regular non-reduced sodium chicken broth, you wanna make sure that you test this for salt before adding extra salt to it. So two cups of chicken broth, one can of pumpkin, one cup of heavy cream. And that is the base of this soup. You're gonna stir that all together and make sure that all of the pumpkin gets dissolved and mixed well with the cream and the chicken broth. And then you're going to add some spices. I have a teaspoon of cumin, just ground cumin, a teaspoon of ground curry powder. I usually get the sweet type of curry powder, not the hot, but if you like things really spicy, you could do that. I do add though a half a teaspoon of hot red pepper flakes. This does give this soup a little bit of a kick. A half a teaspoon of sugar. The sugar just gives it a little bit of balance. And then I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon or three quarters of a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. I'm gonna mix that together and you just want this to heat through. Then I'm gonna add kind of a secret ingredient. This is apple cider vinegar. Anytime you have a soup or a dish that you're making that doesn't taste quite right and you know that it doesn't need more salt, it might need a little bit of acid. And to this soup, I just add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and it really does make a big difference in how the soup tastes. So I add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. All you're gonna do after that is heat this soup all the way through until it just barely starts to simmer on the edges and you're ready to serve it. I like to top it with pumpkin seeds. You'll find them in the grocery store, kind of like by the sunflower seeds and the nuts. They're called pepitas sometimes, but they are toasted pumpkin seeds that are salted and they are just a great little crunchy topping on top of this curried pumpkin soup. If you have any questions about the recipe, you can find it at feedyourfamilytonight.com or come on over to the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group. I'm always happy to answer your questions there.